Dude, I'm so stressed. It's a season finale. No. You need to make a splash. I don't know what to wear. I'm trying to figure out my outfits, man. Help me out. Help me out. I brought some things in. Does this match? This with this? How does it look? Dude, you're colorblind. That's why I need your help. Come on, man. Okay, here. The red with the red. Does it look good? No. What's up? Are you going to help us? Because I don't know what to wear. What's your problem? Did you do your homework? I don't know. Do your homework. You can wear these? For us? Of course. We'll see. Let's start the answer. Might as well, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And we have with us here today Fabulous at ABO. He is a big fit icon coming all the way from the east side, the east side of Brevoort Houses. Don't smudge the Nike City's got on, Fab. So happy to have you here. What's up, hey, man? man? I like that introduction. That was, that was good. He it's does. Only, it's this only what he right. Did. We, are, we are here for our season finale. This is a big moment for all of us. We're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everyone has on feet. So, Wealthy, please tell me what you're wearing. Well, I don't feel like I'm the right person to talk about these. So, Trinidad, can you please explain what the three of us are wearing? Um, amazing. So, the three of us are wearing today my first sneaker collab. This is Homework Time Sakoni Jazz. This is the collab with my brand that's coming out in the fall. This is a big deal for anybody that know how long I've spent in sneakers just in general. And to be able to have your own sneaker. You gotta stand on the couch. For actually gotta, really <laughs> care about sneakers. When you got your own sneaker, you gotta stand on it. I'm very happy. I don't wanna downplay it like the cool person that I am, because I'm very cool, but I'm very, very happy, and I'm happy to have some of my bestest friends wearing the sneakers and some of my closest people who, you know, helped me get this sneaker, I feel, in my heart. So I must not be one of those close <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Come on now, don't do me like that. I was just saying, you know I what see saying? everybody have. This is, this is my first sneaker collab, guys, and I'm just super happy. This comes out in the fall. Um, Homework is the brand. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be nice, guys. Fab, whoa. He what explained we, it because I was wondering why all three like, I had the same shoes. You're like, like what did I walk in on? I was I was waiting to come in and see what everybody was wearing, and uh, then like uh, they had. Fab, what would the fit look like with those for you if you were like mood boarding it together? I probably would make that like a pop color to the fit because it's, Lime it's green. like a yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like the fit can be a whole something else. Oh and yeah, the shoe. Yeah, got you. Just be the standout kind of thing. Sometimes, you know, that looks like a shoe that could be that because of its its, it's kind of. We're gonna I'm get matchy, you a pair. but I would I would make that actually the pop. I'm very matchy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a pair, but we want to know what shoes you have on right now. I have on the Laser Mark Smith Air Force Ones. Heaters. Did my heat history. It came yeah. out in 03. I like that. 03 is a good year for me. You know, I did my I did oh, my homework, true. so I'm in the, the Sockenies as well. Fab, I know those are shoes that you pulled out of the stash, shoes that you love, but which most regrettable sneaker purchase of all time? I don't really have any regrets. Everyone regrets at least one pair of shoes you bought in your life. There's nothing so, that you pulled out of a dusty box that you were like... That I bought? Yeah. No, because at the time, now, it might have didn't age well. At right. the right, time, right, right. I wanted... At the time, you was in it. At mm. the time, like, I could look at some of the Jeremy Scott shoes, and yeah. I've been like, yo, why did I buy it? But at the time... You're like, why do I have a tiger, like, why do I have a tiger fire, tail on this? Fire. In you know the moment? Mean? When I'm looking at a, a sneak, a Adidas with a cheetah tail hanging off the back of it now, I'm like, yo, <laughs> right, right, right. what was I doing? That's but real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Different times. All right, guys, let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Supreme releasing this wheat Nike Air Force One low. I'm happy this is happening. Very New York One sneaker. Some people <laughs> thought maybe Supreme wasn't going to do any more Nikes now that they're owned by Vans' parent company, VFC. Fab, I know I've seen you in Supreme before. When are we going to get a fabulous Supreme photo tee? Like, how close are we to that happening? I don't know. I don't know how those happen. I think they just, don't they just choose you or do you, or do people kind of like go to them? I don't know. We I might have to start the campaign right now. I think now. it's natural selection. Yeah. You don't have James Jebby on speed dial where you can just hit him up? And... Nah, man. <laughs> I, I wish I did, man. My Supreme hunts would be a lot easier, but. Do you have the picture in your head already that you would want to use? Nah, but after today I will. Gotta, <laughs> this is the campaign. I'm gonna get right a top here. three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all set me up. It's 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 Shit, up get, now. Supreme, you know what you need to do. Get on Wait, your job. How do we feel we, about these fab? I like them. I think they clean. I think um being from New York too, we love a, a, a good Timbaland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Timbaland right, right, right. I think that that's like 
actually the the the, the monster collab for a New Yorker, <laughs> right. like Supreme combining a, a that's, that's Thanos Supreme right there. With, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's like all the Infinity Stones right there, like <laughs> you know, Tim, the Air Force One, and Supreme is just like. <laughs> Next bit of sneaker news: the Travis One Lows finally dropped. It felt like the shoe was releasing for a month. When they did drop on Travis's website, he put out there that he was able to weed out three million bots that try to get the shoes mm. on a raffle. Good job. Fab, Good job. how do you feel about that whole game nowadays where it's like the bots are snatching up the shoes? I know you're a guy who can probably get whatever you want without having to hit on sneakers, but. Yeah, I think it's kind of whack, but at the same time, I don't have the same Issue getting Hunt stuff. Issue, yeah, yeah. to right. get shoes. It so it's, it doesn't affect me as much, but I know if it did, I would be pissed because <laughs> I, do, I think it's whack and I don't have to go through it. You know what I'm saying? So if I really, if I was getting beat out by bots every day yeah. trying to get sneaker, really, and it's it's harder. You know, I'm, I'm also from the era where you just went in the sneaker store and pulled it off the rack and be like, yo, let me get these in a nine. Right. You right. never waited in line. You and never then, had to yeah, do that. Yeah, it's right, just right, a right. different time. So this is just a fine line too of kids who love shoes and love wearing shoes. And now there's just like kids who buy shoes to resell. It's just not. Have you, know, you ever resold sneakers? No, nah, not really, no. Not really or no? Not in the resale market kind of thing. Like, <laughs> I, I've had an extra pair of shoes and my boy wanted them. He gave me some money, I've sold. Re that. Resale price or are we giving them to a friend? Right, whatever the, Oh yeah, okay. right, just give back to me. Yeah. Like, okay. It's just like I had three pair of them, like, yo, you need a pair, and I just gave, like, just gave me my money back for it. Like, and they... All right. Fab, we know so much of your style maven, style icon. You've done so much for styling other people's minds and stuff. But we want to know where did sneakers start mattering for you? Maybe about fourth or fifth grade, man, like, my uncle bought me the Air Max ones. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is when kind of like, they first started doing the air bubble thing. So Original that pair, was 87. Cool, yeah. The white and red ones? Cool, yeah. Like, you just became instantly the coolest dude in the school. And everybody, yo, let me see your shoe. You know, you got the air bubble. Like, you gotta actually think about the first time I air bubble. Yeah. Right, right, I'm just right, thinking right, it's right, just right, like right. a. It's, what is that? You know? what, yeah. what am I looking like, at? Ill. Right. Yeah. It's like, now it's like the norm. It doesn't yeah, even okay, mean anything. Yeah. But at the, that time, it was like doing something that nobody had ever seen before. And I was even impressed, like, with myself. Like, I'm walking on it, squishing <laughs> it, trying to, like, really. Running around. Yeah, it's like you testing it out in the yeah. house. You, you know what I mean? Do you remember so, anyone? I remember, like, when I was going to school, kids at air bubbles and some kids would try to be jerks and take like a pencil and stab the... I heard kid. about that, but nobody ever like... <laughs> nobody yeah. stabbed my bubbles. Yeah. That's not Sheesh. That's not gonna happen with, and on this side. So. You mentioned you're the super matchy guy. Like, how far back does that go? Like, in my head, I have a picture, you know, where it's like fabulous and you're four years old with still with the throwback on, you know, and Brevoort Children's Center, Deborah chasing you around, you know? Yeah. Does it go that far back for this you? This guy does his homework. Um, no pun intended. To be honest, I can't tell exactly when. I just know that I started loving shoes and loving fashion, and then I just somewhere collectively try to always make it go together. Right. Even as I just became a, a, a artist in like the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, and the jersey thing came. So yeah. I was, I love that too, because jerseys have a lot of color. And right, you can of course. Always, of course. you know what I mean, switch it up per shoe. And that was another thing that kind of like really locked me in, you know what I'm saying? And Your love for jerseys? Yeah, the love like for jerseys. Like now that I have the jerseys, that, I that need that the shoes. Combination. Right, right. hat, Magic. jerseys, shoes, yeah. we in there. Yeah. yeah. We've had some, you know, great alums, Jay the Kids. <laughs> yes, sir. Jim Jones, you know, Jim being from Harlem. I still tongue fuck him. They dress, they, that's what they're known for. Fashion but, forward. you know, you being a fashion icon and not being from Harlem, were you influenced by somebody in your borough or did Harlem have an influence on, like, style for you? Well, my first influences, of course, were people from my borough because that's who you see directly. All the time. Every day. Correct. Harlem, I didn't really see till I got into my older teens. I was able to see that their style was a little different from Brooklyn. I was just like, oh, that's cool. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, we all New York. So when I went to Harlem and they were doing like, uh, you know, a lot of the leather jackets, the Avery yeah. Rexes, and you know, Brooklyn, it wasn't as prominent there. So I could take that style and come to Brooklyn and mm -hmm. it's kind of like you got a new fresh Something style different. for Brooklyn. Fab, talk, speaking about the throwbacks, you know, like in my head when I envisioned, you know, the early 2000s, it's throwback fitted hat and like a matching pair of Air Force Ones. I know obviously Air Force Ones are a shoe that you have a big connection to. Do you feel like you played a big role in that being like one of the quintessential shoes of the early 2000s? It's hard for me to take full credit for it. We want to give like you some one credit. Of those no, I, 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 I definitely 
take a place for me, but I can't take full credit for right. it. Right. Yeah. Because it was just so booming at the time. Yeah. Like, you know, Nelly had a song that yeah. for Air Force Ones, but Nelly can't really take full credit. He could take some credit mm. for it expanding it to people and making a song and you know, cause a song can expand right. it to people who never even For people who aren't from New it. York. Right. You know, like like Nelly sure. didn't he make Air Force Ones popping in New York. Exactly. Like he can't take that credit. I went like in ninety nine, I went on the hard knock life yeah. tour. Yeah, with everybody. Crazy Jay Z was yo, so DMX, blah blah blah. Buster Ryan. Jay was already like a real prominent white on white Air Force One wear. Yeah. Right. So he would kind of almost wear that every night for the shows. One of the stops was in Portland in um, mm. Oregon. And we stopped at the Nike headquarters. They let it gave everybody like a voucher to shop in there. You know what I'm saying? I was just like blown away because it was like tapping into a, like a vault of it was one yeah, colorway right. every color like, you can it, imagine it you, you were your mind was probably going like what can i match this with Yo, what can i match this tour with? was going crazy <laughs> in there because most of the tour too was from new york too yeah then i remember just buying the red yellow and orange i remember at a point like i only had a certain a certain budget but i was like <laughs> i wish i could have bought three four pair each, three each, each yeah. you know what i mean like it, you've been rocking with jordan and jordan brand per se have been rocking with you Mm -hmm. for so long. How did that relationship start where it kind of is tailored to who you are, where you're not forced to only wear Jordan? You do literally what you want to do. I think the relationship grew organically uh, through meeting them. Before I met any of them, I was rocking the shoes and was a big Jordan fan. I was a Jordan player fan before I was even a sneaker fan, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, I always wore the shoes. And then once I came to being a rapper, came into contact with them and through different, you know, through, through different ways, whether it was doing a show or being at a function and they was there and it just connected the dots, even the internal people there, Reggie, yeah. you know right, right. Larry. Yeah. 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 The guys yeah. who make like, this you know shit what I'm saying? So once you build that relationship too, it was like, you know, everybody was cool and, and it just continued. Do you guys forever. compare it? Cause I know obviously you're friends with Jada and yes. <laughs> he's just like, he's, a huge Reggie guy as well. That's what I would call him, the real plug. He yeah. took care of me, my road manager, cousin L, my whole entourage. Are you like, I got this one, you didn't get that one, you know, like on the seating list? I try not to do that, but I also <laughs> do watch what sometimes, like, you know, calendar. I'm first? still in a meeting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, hey man, I don't got those, you right, know what I'm right. saying? But you keep I checking, you go, I you check the mail to... a couple times that day to see uh, if it showed yeah, up. Yeah, I definitely check, like, if I got them. <laughs> mine's like, come today? You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, I got But sometimes you might get them after you see that video. And be like, do, okay, do you remember Khaled when you first... first? He gets the first shipments or something like that. Do you remember when you first were getting them for free from Jordan Brand? Because I know you used to get your Nikes from Aster. Yep. You won't see him in the store until six months Nike. after. Yeah, yeah. Aster was a Nike guy. Shout out Thorn Baxter, too. She, yes. She's amazing. I don't know. I don't know when the first batch was, but. I just imagine that's a special feeling. Of, What's like, your favorite Jordan model? For these. Which Jordan is that model for you? Is it a four? It's the six. Infrared six was like my favorite. Any Jordan. particular reason? That was, it just was that suede. Suede is That nice. first one that they, it, the suede is just. Like when you just have a brand new pair of those, it's just like crazy. And it just, and then the red just was in those touches where it was just like subtle, but it was bright and st yeah, yeah. strong. Pop. Like it was, it, it's just a strong shoe. And then even the silhouette of the shoe, I love. I would imagine I like, like those lime green ones that came out recently this year, all black suede with the little, little yeah, subtle Oregon looking ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bab, we had conceded on the show multiple times, but way back, and he, I remember he told us that for him growing up being a sneakerhead, like you were the guy that he looked up to like style-wise. Being that you've been like a sneaker collector and into style for so long, how much do you feel like you were an influence on like a whole generation of rappers? Do you ever get that vibe or do people tell you that? Yeah, people tell me uh, a lot. You know, it's, it's, it's generational, it's who you come up under, you know, yeah. and you look in those in those lights too. Certain things are first times too. Um, every generation has a first time of uh, something, so you get connected to that moniker as, as well. Like I'm not the first person to wear ever wear jerseys, but I kind of stamped it to where it was a moniker yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? So who's doing it in your era? You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I think I've been that for you know some some, some guys. You know? Do other rappers ever ask you for help getting sneakers because you are such a big sneaker guy or vice versa? Like, do you hit somebody like, I need to figure out how to get these? Yeah, somebody, a couple couple guys have hit me, even for simple stuff sometimes. Maybe like something I wear and somebody will DM me and be like, yo, those is fire, man. You know what I mean? And I- Do you remember what the shoe was? It was those Air Force ones that just came, the ones that had the heart on it. They were like pink. Yeah, Valentine's, oh, yeah. Valentine's, Valentine's pink. Yeah. Yeah. These weren't like a, a crazy release to me. So I'm like, yo, I just hit my boy in, in Chicago who has a store and 
I just, you know, got him and sent it to Play him. Club? He was like, yo. Nah, uh, success. 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 Yep. That's, our guy. Yeah. That's our guy. I feel like that's when you need to be reselling because they don't necessarily know that it's a regular shoe and you could be like, these are really hard to get. So yeah, some gonna, people are not them. sneaking people. They just uh, see you with a yeah, shoe and like, be like, what is that? a fire. What, yeah. what, you know what I mean? Do you get frustrated because I know you, you know, you put so much into putting your fits together and if you show up to like some sort of rap party or red carpet event and someone has the exact same sneakers on you, are you like, damn, I need to change? Not really. You know what upsets me more than that? Like when you ever feel like you wasted a fit. Like oh, you yeah. wear, <laughs> like, For sure. Or you Listen, wear that, some shoes that your shoes don't really get like no play. You step, out, you step out in an outfit and you didn't ask your girlfriend to take a photo of you, like, and you didn't go on the gram. Like, what are we doing? Like, I do that all the time. Man. Like, come on, what? what? Why did I even what, go on the gram? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, Fab, in a, in a perfect world, you know, with the taste that you possess, what is the ideal fabulous sneaker, signature sneaker? Jordan is a force, and what? Damn, I feel like both of those shoes are so like connected to my. Life. History. I wouldn't do a fusion of it though. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I remember no. the Jordan Air Force One fusion yeah, came out. Yeah, of course. Not, it's not that. Okay. But, right. You know, on some either people, today. Some people back the fusion. Some people are trying to tell us who was trying to. Yeah, tell we had us we had fusion. T Grizzly on the show and he said. Because, so we like, is this really happening? Like they combining and they calling it a fusion? Like this yeah. is crazy. Because said, it's in his era. Yeah. It, yeah. it was fire at that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I ain't gonna lie. When it came, I bought a few of the, I, like I was on them too. Wait, so, so when I actually came to my senses and the high came down. I'm like, yo, what did I so, just wait, invest so you, into? So you lied to us earlier when you said you haven't had a regrettable sneaker purchase. I didn't. I don't regret them. At the time, they were <laughs> right. fire, and I got them. Yeah. It, it didn't age well. Yeah. Or when you got to like sit back and look back sure. at them, you like, why did I buy? Uh, Whichever one they zoomed with the Four twelve. Plus one, like you know, that I mean? one was like, crazy. The one day the mesh with the twelve, I was like, yeah. this shoe was crazy. Fab, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did. So last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. Well, this week it is me for the British accent I was doing. In the UK, really, really need a British episode uh, on like Skepta. So I guess people didn't like that. So I have to take off my shoes mm. and replace them with. I'm gonna pass these around the horn. Oh, they came with the good ones too. <clears throat> my boy Phil, man. <laughs> Big <laughs> Phil. These light up shoes. Mm. Um, mm. Tell us in the comments who deserves that distinction this week. We will punish them next episode, next season. Yeah, these are Fab, <laughs> on, some real, on some real shit, though, you would get those off if you had to? I don't think I would. Bro, and not in the internet era. The internet era, they gonna fry you for those. It's not the, Here it's we go. Not the, Wait, have, have you ever posted a fit online and you thought it was fire and then people were like hating in the comments to that? Yeah, that happens all the time. That, I mean, you Tell gotta me be a, it. you gotta be a, you know, an innovator too. Like you can't just listen to what the comments, I just know those are gonna get fired. <laughs> you can but, literally wear any fit with that shoe though because of the colors changing on it. Right. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what fit I you love put what on you're with it. This doesn't is, matter. Yeah. Like these are production it? days. This is no. amazing. It like, it? That, that doesn't match. It's like the, it depends when you look at it. You know what I mean? It depends when the colors <laughs> are changing. Then it matches. You know? And they're really they're fake black Air Force One, so mm, yeah. that energy. Different. Yeah. So Fab, we also do on the show a segment called Drip. Flip or skip. Drip meaning that it looks good. good. Flip Let meaning me. that you resell. Oh. Skip, you don't rock with it, right? So our first shoe in Drip, Flip or Skip is gonna be the Laylee May Air Jordan 14. Um, this is, she's probably on like her fifth shoe now, a fourth or fifth shoe. She's got a lot of shoes. Yeah. She's crushing it, shout out to her. Um, Fab, you're a Jordan guy. Is this a drip? Is this a flip? Is this a skip? I would drip it. Okay. I think I could drip it. I like the marble little touch on the Course. side. Oakland A's jersey with that? Mm. Something green. Some. Something mm. green. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got a jersey? I mean, I live in Jersey, but. Hey, <laughs> okay. No, those are those are a drip. Um, it's nice to see Alele keep on doing new things and making sneakers that matter. And I remember she was on our podcast and said that the 13 and 14 were right when she got into Jordan. So it's kind of cool to see her tap her own sneaker history to create See how shoe. we were just talking about generation? Like by yeah. 13 and 14, that was kind of like out the door. Out right. the last of my. You had already started your rap career and all that, you know? Yeah, like it wasn't that. like, so people missed, like somebody who's just coming in at 13 and 14, that means y'all miss one to 12. Those, one to 12. You one to six. Smoke it's over. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's smoking dope. like the. Yeah. But yeah, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan. Yeah, I, I'm still mad that she hasn't been on this show and I hope Alayli could come on one day, but that's not getting in the way of me appreciating the sneaker. I, I think it's really clean. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm a colorway guy. Gold, I'm biased. I'm trying to freaking James. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. 
So it's a drip for me. Oh yeah, that's the real thing. Yeah, that's the gold in there. Oh, okay. Moving forward, shoe number two. Huh, right above me. Bad Bunny times Adidas, his own signature shoe. I think it's the Forum, if I'm not yep, mistaken. Forum, well, you know what? I really liked his first two ones, the brown suede one and the pink one. It's it's hard for me to make an all black shoe feel special, so it's a flip. Because I know these are going for like 700 bucks. Oh, 700 sure. bucks? Yeah. Oh, we're flipping. Okay. I like some of the other colorways better. The, the all black, I don't love, even though it's like a back to school thing, right? And it's because they had to wear black mm -hmm. shoes. In nice commercial. Yeah. I would drip them. I can drip these, but I'm going to skip them to let somebody have them that wants them. Sometimes with shoes like this, it kind of gives me that Osiris feel. And <laughs> obviously, I could get skate shoes. I can get it off, and I don't that's, skate. That's that's what I was looking for, and when I want that that look, yeah, that that's look. what I would use them for. The Why jeans? Shoes. You um, skateboarding? No, nah, not. I, I said look. Okay. Not action. <laughs> not action. Yeah. But you are Fab Sport. Yeah, at one point, at one time. Okay. Not at 43. No. <laughs> Moving forward in shoes, um, this is a really cool shoe to me, the Air Jordan Lightning 4. This is one of those shoes, if you know, you know. Fab, I'm gonna start with you because I feel like you've rocked this so many times well. Rocked those yesterday, so it's uh -huh. def definitely new, a drip. The new one me. or the old one? The new one. Okay. Yeah, I just got my hands on some, so definitely drip. Definitely drip. Are you uh, trying to, this is such a bright shoe, are you trying to match that or you said you're going all black with the... Is this a color pop shoe or is this we're gonna find it's a some? color pop shoe? Color I pop. feel like those shoes of one, if it's solid and like a bright color, I, yeah. I can make it a pop shoe. Yo, those shoes are ridiculous, my G. Yeah. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like you're like the Japanese seizure robots and I'm about to fall out of my chair. It looks chair like your shoe is trying to like match with your t-shirt somehow <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> in the middle there, but like I can't you took make all those mine. pills and went and bought those. I could like turn it off maybe. There's like a there's a switch on here that Well T. Oh, there we go. Lightning fours. Ooh. They say that lightning never strikes twice. This is the second time the shoe has come out. So Jordan Brand's proving us all wrong. <laughs> With that said, it's a drip. <laughs> okay. Uh, incredible setup there, my friend. I like this shoe a lot. You said I would never wear this shoe, even though I've been saying I really want it. And I'm gonna wear it and you're gonna see, and you're, you're gonna be sorry. So this is a drip. This shoe I can be greedy with. Um, I remember I didn't have these when they first came out. And actually the shoe that's really the killer to me is the white tour. Mm, Boy, yeah. that's white, but yeah. the rare air ones. Yeah, yeah, they can pull off the top tab on. But if you know, you know the lightnings. That's a big. That's a big shoe, man. That's a stepper. Yeah. So um, this is a drip. Um, I need 11. I need 11 and a half for the homie. Somebody take care of me, please. And me, take take care of me. Too. Oh, 10 and a half for my boy too, Brenda. Fab. We also do outfits on this segment, sir. And there's no better outfits to do in the entire world than goddamn fabulous outfits. Outfit oh, number shit. one. Okay, talk to me. Ginger 16's on. Great shoe. 16. Where are you though? I um, look like I'm on a Levi's event red carpet. This looks like a Jaguars jersey with Byron Leftwich. Jaguars. Hey, Byron Leftwich. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you guys are good. My ESPN uh, app just went off for that. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I have on some very baggy pants. So this had to be early 2000s. For that time, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll drip that fit in, in that era. Yeah, this is a drip. This is an underrated shoe. In fact, maybe you can help them bring this back. They don't yeah. bring it back to 16s very often. The 16s you know I mean? are very sneaky. You don't get the red. You got to know how to get them off, too, though, because they are a basketball yeah. shoe. When they got yeah. past the 13, like you said, yeah. Fab, they started to step away from the swag that we, even though Jordan hooped and everything. Yeah. We swagged those. They had a lifestyle group. designing. Exactly. Look. You, don't, you don't wear, I know you don't have the shroud there, but when you wear the 16s, you don't wear the shroud on them. Nah, I think that's what makes them look more basketball shoes. Right. Oh. Fab, this old stuff that you have in the closet, if you find this, are you wearing it or are you scared it's gonna crumble? Like, have you had old shoes crumble on you like that? No, I haven't. I haven't really tapped back into like wearing the old shoes of that old. That old. These, yeah. of course, are old, but they're not, I don't think they're that old. Right. I feel like you have stuff from 20 years ago, though, that if you put it on, it's just gonna fall apart. I had a pair of sevens and the sole started. Coming, coming on. a loose oh, exit. When I first saw this photo, I was like surprised that the sneakers weren't matching the jersey, weren't matching the fitted. But then I realized no, that it, it is though. The little gold on it is in the Jaguar. Oh, the Jaguar. Oh. Yeah, it was like the color of that uh, those shoes. The, the, but the no, but, trimming of it. But what I was gonna say you though were dead is, wrong. is that yeah. though that those are kind of like like wheat tims in the way that like mm. even if they're not matching the rest of the fit, they go with everything, so you're good. So it's a trip. I was definitely being matchy. Yeah, you, thought, you thought you caught me slipping, but I, I wasn't. I was dripping. I wasn't slipping. Uh, I was, wasn't slipping. He was dripping. Um, this is a drip. Uh, moving forward. Leopard family. 
Family that wears leopard together stays together. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. This is like this is a, just some fun me and my lady Emily be having where we try to match our our attire. I had those shoes and she had in her bag the cheetah thing, so we we went cheetah. How, um, how how did the two of you set that up? Like it I mean there comes like a lot of like moving parts to make it all to all fit. I definitely didn't have a top. I went out and like randomly found this top. I think it was in RSVP. Mm. And I was really trying to gonna find something orange just for the shoes and let the shoes just connect to her dress. But then I really ran into the jacket and I was like, I guess the we stars aligned. Like, yeah. Does you know she have final say if, if if it all matches? Kinda. It's it's, it's kind of a collective effort. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it get sometimes it's a little extra, but at the same time with your lady is. Like Did you put her on to like sneakers and stuff or she was already on it when y'all met? I put her on to like what are the sneakers. The good is. stuff. Yeah, right, like right, she's, right, right. She's, 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 she's a sneaker wearer too, but I'm gonna drip it because it's me and my lady. There it is, Brendan Dunn. No, this is a drip. I, I just, I, I hope that no cheetahs were harmed in I hope so too. RIP to our friend Charlie the Cheetah. God bless the dead. God bless the dead, that cheetah passed away. Anyway, that's Charlie the Cheetah. After hearing everything that goes into you guys setting this up, you have to drip it. Come on, what are we doing here? Um, if you love sneakers, and I'm talking to the world, because the whole world watches this show. We did one of the biggest sneaker shows in the whole world. If you're watching this show, if you love sneakers, and you know, you have a girlfriend, or a partner, you are happy as hell when your partner is into being dressy or match your flavor. Find a way to connect. That's what being a partner is all the way about. That's where we yeah. picked it up from. You know what I mean? You could, we could both be individually fly, but when we come together, it's like, you know, oh, you know what I mean? It's, it's a moment. You make me better, right? Drip, there it is, boom. Moving forward, <laughs> bring out the gams. Come on, Tom. This is your dog, or is this is a commercial? No, nah, that's a friend's dog. Um, <laughs> you borrowed the dog for the photo? <laughs> like, I gotta get on the yeah, gram real quick. Yeah, I was like, yeah, let me just, let me just. Let me hold that right quick. This actually, this whole thing was an ad. You know okay, I mean? so, <laughs> okay. It definitely was a flip because <laughs> <laughs> it was an ad. The, the Tom Sachs just got, you know, thrown in. Put these on. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you could resell these sneakers to Brendan Dunn. I have a pair. I don't, you know, I don't need you, 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 you don't need another so pair of Tom Sachs? To Tom Sachs. I'm surprised you don't want more. <laughs> Tom, come on the show. Definitely look like a Tom Sachs guy, though. I, I got, yeah. yeah. We got it sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flip. Okay, uh, Brendan Dunn. This is like pure joy, you know, between you and the dog. Everybody looks so happy here. I love this. I love the outfit. Fab, I want to ask you, is there any way you can help Joe Budden out with the outfits? You know the original version of Pump It Up was about masturbation? Because I feel like you... Oh, and, Jesus and Christ. They have a so page devoted to, oh, to, to Joe Budden. Oh, I got to pour some Joe Budden. Joe Budden Triangle Budden offense, you know, and, and Paul Kane does his thing, but but Joe Budden has some offensive outfits. And, and are you talking about now outfits or past outfits? I'm talking about all time. All time. The whole era, his whole his whole his whole, his whole <laughs> discography. Jesus. <laughs> of course, some fits don't age well. So sometimes, in the moment and in the time, it's a, it's you might be trying to pull something off that uh, maybe hit or didn't hit, but when you look back at it, it's like. It no didn't shit. hit at all. I think now his style is different from the past. You know, yeah. in the past, I don't think he was more focused on fashion or fits or anything. I think he was just doing what he Rapid. could. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I seen a page. That, <laughs> yeah, Joe Budden fits. Yeah, <laughs> page, whoever does that page, they're hilarious. <laughs> they're <laughs> diabolical. It's a drip. It's a drip. I, I, I appreciate the fit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you dog a dog person? Uh, I guess more of a cat person. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the Tom Sachs. Mm. <laughs> I'm just processing a cat person. I don't, I don't know if I ever heard somebody be a cat person. The the happiness of this dog, and I'm a new dog person, so I can say I'm a dog person now because I'm newer. I wasn't, I just wasn't an animal person. Mm. But now I'm a dog person starting How long you had a dog? I don't even have one. <laughs> oh, you just, oh, you just appreciate him Yeah, now. at first it was just kind of like, yeah, like don't bring your dog around he, me, bro. He's the sort of guy when you see someone walking down the street, can I pet your dog? Yeah. Um, this is a drip for me. Last but not least, this is the best one. Mmm. Mm. Ten men <laughs> with the ones? That's fire. Let's go. 
Like if Tim Man could, with the original Tim Man would have been having some ones on, that would have sold out the ones. Like they would have been calling them the Tin Man ones. <laughs> Done. Like crazy. Yeah, that's 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 a drip for me. Like I love that. Did you get any feedback from the people at Jordan on this fit? <laughs> no, no, I don't think anybody said anything. <laughs> it wasn't on the Jordan radar this time. Yeah, it, they might have missed it, but <laughs> I, I thought it was a, a great connect and match. You know I'm a matchy guy. Oh, it, <laughs> it, 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 it really hits with the tin, the, right the tin attire. Like you know, what I mean, I don't think I could come any, any more any matchy than, than that. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. They said the Tin Man didn't have a brain, but you don't think that this outfit is legendary. You don't have a brain. Uh, <laughs> it's one liners. He's got better one liners than me, man. It's a, I'm, I'm taking notes. It's a, it's a, it's a drip like. The oil that the Tin Man puts in his joints. Oh, bars. I'm gonna call this skip because not because I don't like the outfit, because it gives me anxiety thinking of all the prep and all the af takedown. Af like somebody had to hit you with a pressure washer after this to get all that makeup. You know what I mean? Uh, you didn't have a rash like after you took it off. <laughs> no. Great question. I had to, I had to wash right silver now. off of my fucking That's face, what I'm saying. beard, and hair all for for a while. It's interesting because I was coming for the big skip and then the confidence that he came with off the top when he saw the picture, I was like, oh, he know, he 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 wanted this. This is a freaking drip. What are we doing here? What other shoe could you have put on right there? That, yeah. that shoe guys. That, what, what about this? You're shoe guys. Where, if you had to, for Halloween, this is of course for Halloween. Right, right, exactly. Just going out wrong. on a Tuesday like this? Yeah, nah. exactly. <laughs> Let's just be clear for the, uh, <laughs> For the people, they might have missed it this time or picture and just been like, oh, picture here. when the fuck did he wear this fit? Like, why is he wearing this? Fabulous at the club yeah. just like this. Oh, man. It's that's a definitely for name. Halloween. What are those shoe? Um, uh, Silver Bullet Air Max 97s could have been one. Or remember the all-star foam posits from a few years back, the chrome posit, super shiny. You would wear the foam posit with that? Me? Yeah. You could also do the, sure. remember the liquid metal silver Air Max ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Air Max 1s, yep, I had those. Put it on the mood board. They had the Air Forces, too, the Air Force 1 mid-silver metallic. Oh, yeah. Shiny one. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. I love those. The gold ones, obviously, my favorite. Not, yeah. Fab, listen, before we get out of here for the day for the episode for the season, we want to breeze through the YouTube comment section and see what people are Season 10, about man. What are we talking wow. about? Finale. This is 10 for you? 10 yeah. freaking wow. seasons, 100 and something episodes. Amazing guests. Man, congratulations, man. Clap it up, clap it up, everybody. Clap it up. Clap it up. What are you talking about? This is season 10. What are you doing? That's history. We have one comment here from Black T saying, I do know who dad is, yet in my guts I feel more like Welty is the real dad, whereas dad is more like the cool uncle. That's sure, that's cool. That's, that's a dad. Samuel Monsalve says, if you guys bring Eric Costin to the show, I swear I'll get an FSR tattoo. Much love from Colombia. Eric Costin, come on the show. Yes, Eric I'd Costin. love to meet people's challenges. We'll book that quick. Ryan Taylor says, dang man, these seasons are moving quick. You said it, Ryan. This has been another episode, another season of Full Size Run. This is your finale. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I got taste. I'm Trinidad James. And I'm fab, fabulous. She won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Listen, the episode is finished, but we're actually not finished here. I need you to subscribe. Please subscribe. Get us to 500,000. Get us to a million. Get us to a bajillion. Guys, this is season 10. If you've been with us with this journey for the last umpteen years, we need more subscribers. We deserve more subscribers. And you will get us more subscribers. Handle also, that. Don't forget, Soul Collector app, download that best price comparison tool out there. Do it. Now.